Trump supporters have been scrambling to defend the Trump tape heard around the world, and one supporter went on CNN and gave this defense. Let's take a look at the clip. I abhor lewd and body language. I don't listen to rap music. I don't like that kind of thing. But Hillary Clinton, when she expresses... Oh, wait, you said rude and body rap Body music. language. I thought you said rap music. Body. I did. I mentioned rap music rap, because rap it's music. full of the F word, the P word, the, the B word, the A word, the... I don't all, think anybody... Listen, I gotta say, I don't think anybody likes that, but those people are not running for president. Yes, but I wanted to point something out. Okay, go ahead. And which is that Hillary Clinton expresses that she finds the language on that bus horrific, but in fact, she likes language like this, quote... I came to slay, bitch. When he F me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Did she say that? That, that happens to oh, be a Beyonce line from Beyonce. That. Yeah, I know. That's Her Beyonce's. Her favorite performer, whom she says she idolizes and would like to imitate. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying to you? There's a lot of hypocrisy okay. in Hillary no. Clinton expressing such horror. Okay, Betsy. Was... Oh, sweet. <laughs> Jesus. Um, guys, I want to get a reaction from you. Does that defense hold up to you? Is that, I mean, hey, they have to scramble. They have to defend. They're on CNN. Don I, Lemon's asking, what do you I think? I love the moment when everyone around her is just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Like, We're, what are you, like, what is even the argument here? Where are you going with this? Yeah. yeah. So when she, when she did her closing statement, and I thought she nailed it. Uh, when in doubt, blame Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm sh I'm shocked to find out that woman doesn't listen to rap music. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, can't believe she it. had to clarify. Right. And I think that it was a good move uh, to be called out that, you know, these people aren't running for president. What, basically, everyone was saying, what's your point here? And then she made her point, and everyone was still like, what's, but really, what is your point here? <laughs> it, Hillary Clinton's in a very difficult position because, like, the only thing more offensive than what Trump said is not liking Beyonce. <laughs> Like, if she said she didn't like Beyonce, she'd lose more votes. Like, if Trump comes out tomorrow saying, Beyonce, eh, his vote tally would go. He'd fall even further behind than the 11 points he's behind today. So, let's get this right. If you like an entertainer, uh, then uh, by the transitive property, you are responsible for everything they do in their entertainment. Not in their real life, in their entertainment. Right. So, if you like Al Pacino... Oh my God, why did you <laughs> murder all those people with your little friend? Okay, first you made them say hello to it, right. and then you shot them with it, and all that cocaine that you did, and <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? Let alone the time you were the devil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Devil's advocate. <laughs> Literally Lucifer. That's right. And a lawyer. And, and you say you like Joe Pesci. Remember the time he beat that guy with the phone? <laughs> okay. So is this so is this the Trump campaign or the you know Trump supporters just their absolute, you know, desperation looking for anything grasping at straws here? I'd is that what we're seeing? The highest level of desperation is the desperation to be on television. <laughs> That's Betty Betsy McCaughey's um, biggest crime is because all the other people are just dropping off as well they should and the only people left so buckle up and get ready for the surrogates who after all this are still left oh. the people you kind of would listen to and sort of trust are long gone and now it's the CNN bottom of the barrel that they're just scooping to find who has so little pride and so little brains that they'll bring a Beyonce lyric to a knife fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, the best part of this too is that she clearly has not listened to the song. Just hearing yeah. her read it out, I that is well, truly painful. What's the song about, right? That song is <laughs> actually a really empowered song mm -hmm. about how to deal with, with your man cheating on you. Yeah. So the central thrust of Beyonce is be strong, be yourself, you know, you know your own situation better than anyone else does. They don't love you like I love you. I, this is my business and I'm going to handle it how I want to. I bet to. she didn't even watch Lemonade. Right, which is a crime unto itself. Honestly, that's what she should be really apologizing for. It's, it's weird that she would have missed the point of that song. Uh, <laughs> especially a person who pr uh, pronounces hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. <laughs> Mm. But let's note for the record, she's a former lieutenant governor of New York. So th this, these are not just like people they picked up off the street. These people had important jobs. These are the guys we trusted our, our government to. God help us all. And, and so w what's worse, uh, lyrics in, an, in a song, by the way, if you want to get into lyrics in a song, let's note for the record that you know, the Republicans love Ted Nugent.
They love bringing him out. Um, my favorite moment was when Huckabee was playing the guitar with him, and they're playing Nugent's song where he talks about having sex with what sounds like his underage neighbor, you know, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm going to go have sex with your daughter, and Huckabee's like, yeah, let's go do it, right? Yeah. Okay, so, but they're not responsible for any of that. But your candidate, not a musician, right. not in a movie, not in the real world, said things like, I moved on her like a bitch. Okay, which by the way could go in a rap song. <laughs> okay, and. Grab him by the pussy. I don't even think that can go in a rap song because it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> not, a rapper would write, write, wait, I move on him like a bitch. Wait, why would I be moving on them like a bitch? <laughs> right? No, that doesn't okay, make any also, sense. We're going to lose that part. <laughs> let's not forget that uh, one of the, I believe the finalists, maybe even the winner of Celebrity Apprentice was uh, John Rich from Big and Rich who had the song Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. You don't see the Trump supporter being, you know, saying that that's too lewd. You know, that's that's offensive. And I know that this that Big and Rich came out and said that they would support or one of them. I don't know who they are. I'm Which shockingly not a big country music fan, and they're not a fan of me either. So that's okay. Yeah. Um, but John Rich, I know, said on CNN that he would support Donald Trump if he ran for president. And no one's saying like, well, what if now like he wants people to ride them like cowboys or. Right. I don't know. I didn't really think about that logic because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you can't fault a singer for what they write in their lyrics, and then if a politician likes that, doesn't add up. It just it's not. I love it. I love that she's like, I have got him. <laughs> I am gonna win this once and for all. Didn't they won't. See, they can't didn't help see but Betsy agree with coming. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. Uh, band at all, but it's save a, a horse, ride a cowboy. Yeah. I know it too well for a gay is it, person. Is it, is, I was gonna no wait. Mm. Isn't it a gay song? Uh, ride, well, save a horse, ride a cowboy at gay bars, I but mean, I don't think they intended for it to be a gay. It anthem. sounds right. like they want you to. I moved on her like a bitch. <laughs> in regards to cowboys, right? Ride the cowboy. Am I missing something? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Is the words that are often closest to a pair of truck nuts on a bumper. <laughs> like it's just a bumper sticker. I, that's where I've seen it, and yeah. I found out later it was a song by Big and Rich. Mm -hmm. And and you're telling me a group called Big and Rich mm -hmm. supports Donald Trump? Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe the least surprising thing I've ever heard. There's so much more Young Turks content if you're a member. Great shows like Aggressive Progressives, Old School. You'll get post games, all ad free, plus the whole two hour show. I know what you're thinking. This is. Huge. And it kind of is. So come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.